Hey, how you doing? Justin back with you today to answer another perennial beginner's question, which is, is finger style harder than strumming and which should you learn first? Well, the short answer is finger style is considerably harder in my humble opinion. But actually, the real question here is what is it that you want to play? Because if you really love finger style guitar, you love the sound of it, and that's what inspired you to pick up the guitar in the first place, I would say you're better off learning that first because you're going to remain inspired. And what you don't want to do is be learning things because other people told you that you should. You should be learning things that you love to play because on guitar, there's a pretty high dropout rate. A lot of people start guitar really super enthusiastic. They want to learn to play this particular style of stuff. They end up learning a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't really what they wanted to learn and then they end up stopping playing and that's no good. So if finger style is the thing that you really, really want to learn, then learn that first and approach strumming at some point when it feels inspiring to do so. There are a few reasons I think it's easier to start with strumming. The first and most obvious one is that finger style requires a lot more dexterity and accuracy with your fingers. If you think about strumming, it's kind of a big movement. I'm strumming with my fingers, but it doesn't matter if I'm using a pick or fingers, whatever. You see the motion is quite big. As soon as we get into finger style, even like beginner easy finger style, the kind of, we do cover beginner finger style in my beginner's course, as well as strumming, but it's a little later. And the reason is that we've, we're picking out strings individually with our fingers. Not only that, we've got to keep them in time, so it's not like we're going... There's a rhythm to it. Da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. This is in 6-8, but even in 4-4. Four, four. not like arbitrary there's a rhythm da, 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 and that has to be accurate as well so we've got dexterity we've got a more complicated rhythmic thing going on as well another factor is that the bass note of chords changes okay so for a d chord the bass note is on the fourth string for a type chords and c type chords the bass note is on the fifth string and for g f and E type chords, the bass note is on the thickest string. So that's already quite a lot going on. But as well, most people when they're learning guitar, they want to sing at the same time. And if you're going to sing and play finger style at the same time, one of the things has to be automated. And for most people, it'll have to be the finger style because you need to think about the words that you're singing, the pitching, all of that sort of stuff, the dynamics, you know, where you are in the song. There's a lot going on when you're singing as well. It's a whole other skill set. So if you're going to do that and the guitar at the same time, you need to have practiced the finger style patterns a lot so that they become automatic. I often use the analogy of learning to drive with stick shift or a manual car. When you first learn to do that, it's complicated. You're in first, you're driving along, you know, you hear the engine go up, you know that it's time to change, you've got to put your foot on the clutch, pull it back into the next gear and know where you're going in the gearbox as well, then relax the clutch slowly enough that it doesn't all get jumpy. There's a lot going on, it's very complicated, but... I thought about changing gears for maybe a year, I guess, when I was learning, and I haven't thought about it since. Now I don't have to think about changing gears at all, unless maybe I'm driving a race car or something and I really have to be paying attention to that stuff. But otherwise, it just it just happens on its own. So finger style is very much like that. When you first learn it, you're going to have to be thinking about the bass note, making sure you get it right, and then you go into the D chord, and there's changing. But eventually you don't want to have to be thinking about that at all I, you know i don't have to worry about what the what strings are being picked or what the bass note is even if i start changing it up a bit i'm kind of trying to catch myself out here but it's um and i definitely could if i got more complicated so if i started going like um now i think i can talk <laughs> can i talk at the same time as doing this it's starting to go a bit wonky. So if I get really complicated with the finger style, I have to concentrate. And that just means that I haven't done enough practice on that pattern. Okay, you do have to practice distracting yourself as well. That would be part of the finger style journey, would be learning a pattern, then practicing it over and over again and gradually uh, encouraging your mind to go somewhere else and only coming back if things go wrong with the finger style pattern. Um, 
for a lot of times if you've got sections where it gets more complicated you might be have automated finger style and then be singing and then just come back and concentrate on the finger style for the tricky bit and then go away again but because of all of those reasons i think that it's better to start off at the very beginning with strumming if you're just like i love playing guitar and i, I want to learn all of it i would recommend starting off with strumming getting a handle on the rhythm learning the chord shapes knowing where the bass notes are and the chord shapes that kind of stuff first and then having a go at doing some finger style at a very basic level and practicing up this automation and learning to automate the finger style pattern while you sing or while you think about something else get used to that because even if you're not singing just learning to change between the different chords you don't want to always be thinking about uh, what fingers are picking what strings and that kind of stuff finger style goes way more complicated of course uh, probably much more complicated than even the most complicated strumming patterns so even really difficult strumming still wouldn't be as technically as difficult as kind of medium level finger picking that's at least that's my view on it and this is very subjective as well other people will have different opinions on 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 this uh this is from my experience of playing guitar for longer than i care to admit to um i think that's about all i've got on this particular question if that still hasn't answered your question do let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to answer you or maybe even might make another video to if there's some uh, common enough questions on this kind of topic so i really hope this helps remember there's plenty of lessons on finger style guitar over on the website plenty of stuff for beginners and intermediate stuff and in fact a whole course on folk finger style where you get into the alternating bass patterns and all of that sort of stuff i'm sure you really enjoy it if finger style is your bag i'll see you for plenty more lessons or q a's or songs very soon you'll take care of yourselves bye bye